Good day to each and every one of you. A shalom. Okay, I have some encouraging, um, an encouraging dream that I would like to share with you all. So, um, forgive me if my voice sounds a little different. I'm trying to be quiet because it's like five in the, in the morning. I've been up since four this morning. Try not to wake up the older two, but my oldest is woke and he's giggling. So I assume he's playing with some angels in there. <laughs> um, and um, I'm trying to be quiet so I don't wake up my baby boy. So he's in the room with me. Okay, and I'm also um, I'm in a battle with... Um, stuffy nose and such but praise God I have a victory over that but anyways so this um I'm going to tell you about my experience yesterday and then it's going to lead up to um how I went into research about this dream that I just woke up from not too long ago so yesterday was uh hey what's today all my days are like are light to me. Um, let me think. Okay, yesterday was Tuesday, and on Tuesdays and Fridays, um, Brother Mike does uh, prayer live streams at six p.m. So he he tried to go on live on YouTube at least five times, and each time the stream would not would not cooperate. So, um, all the saints that, you know, assembled together for the live stream, we were praying and, you know, just battling and everything and just waiting everything out. So after a while, Brother Mike said that, um, he was going to be doing a conference phone call. So we would have to call a number and then put in the, the, um, the conference ID number in order to join in the phone. Um, prayer service so um, I asked him for the for the conference ID number and he gave it to me and I was looking at it like man this looked familiar and um, in part it was it was my birthday numbers um, so the the conference ID number was nine nine three zero three zero zero and I kept um, typing that in and the the phone, um, okay, whatever, but, um, I was born in 1993, March 4th, so, you know, the conference ID number was 9930300, and my birthday is 1993 -03 -04. So it was pretty close to um, my birthday, so that's why the number was like, man, this looks familiar. Okay, but anyways, so I had this dream, and in short, I was preparing and packing up, packing up my kids. My sister came in to help me get out to the train. Got on the train, sat down, was talking with the people on the train. We were, um, it was kind of quiet, but, you know, we were interacting and doing um, some small talk. And um, at the end of the dream, somebody said, Ooh, it's hot. It's 93 degrees. And I woke up from the dream to use the bathroom. So I'm going <laughs> to, it's a train right now, just blew its horn. So I'm going to um, let you all know what 93 uh, signifies. Okay, so this next bit is from an article that I came across, and it reads, Next, we discover that the number 93 is divisible by 3, which yields the whole number 31. The number 31, or a factor thereof, signifies deity and offspring. The geometria for the Hebrew word, El, which refers to God, is 31. Obviously, El speaks of deity regarding offspring. The 31st sign that the names of Noah, Abraham, and Jacob appear in the Bible 
we discover that each case refers to the bringing forth of offspring. For example, of the 31st mention of Noah's name, we discover the command to be fruitful and multiply and fill the whole earth. Genesis 9 verse 1. In Hebrew, the number 93 can also mean the sons of the merciful God. The number 93 is an intensification of the numbers 3 and 31, which makes it more significant, for it carries the meaning from offspring to sons of God, which speaks of completeness. But there is more. Again, using numeric values, the number 93 refers to two more words of significance. First, in the Greek, the word agape, or love, corresponds to the number 93. As we have seen, L corresponds to 31, a factor of 93. This should remind us that God, or 31, is love, 93. So we could say that the number 93 speaks to the very essence of God, or that love is the intensification of who God is. Thus, the number 31 intensified three times, 93, speaks of God's intense love for mankind, for God so loved the world. The second significance of um, the meaning of 93, I did not add that. It was more of like a scientific um, point of view to me. But... Um, Here's the name to the article, so you can look it up yourself, if that's something you're into. Alright, so it says, so what are we to conclude about the number 93? The number 93 refers to the divine completion of the offspring of God. It speaks of the ones born from above that will ma mature into the likeness of Christ. It speaks of the manifestation of the sons of God, the sons of glory, the conquerors that will reign with Christ in the coming eon. These are the ones that will be the first to experience the tabernacles as they take on celestial, spiritual, glorified, immortal bodies. For they will be like the son of God's love. They are the sons of God's love, the saints and light. All right, and this is from Bible Wheel. And the number 93, um, these words or um, phrases equals um, the number 93. The power of my Lord, love, will, shield, defense, chamber. Notice how chamber and defense both have um, chupa for the word um, in the Hebrew. It also means army or host, and it also means in the temple of the Lord, and it also means inheritance. I had a dream not too long ago, and I posted a video on it, and it is called Read 1919, and I read a part of Psalm chapter uh, 19, because Psalm is the 19th book of the Bible, and um, this was also the word chamber equals 93. Okay, so this is what a chupa, I may be saying that wrong, because I'm going to use the, uh, the noise <laughs> in their language, but it says, a Jewish wedding takes place under a chupa, which symbolizes the new Jewish home. The marriage ceremony is conducted under a marriage canopy, known in Hebrew as a chupa. Literally covering. Remember, I um, pointed out earlier that defense, which it equivalates to the number 93, is also the same word for um, chupa as chamber is. It consists of a square cloth, usually made of silk or velvet, supported by four staves, and ordinarily held by four men. The chupa, also commonly spelled chupa, is mentioned in, in the Bible in association with marriage. As a bridegroom goes forth from his chupa, remember that was from Psalm chapter 19, verse um, 5, I think. Elsewhere it is stated, let the bridegroom proceed from his chamber and let the bride go forth from the chupa. 
Note, many modern Jews have reinterpreted traditional understandings to be more um, egalitarian, and they might understand the chupa to represent the home that bride and groom are establishing together, rather than the one to which the groom takes his bride, as is described in this article. Bear with me, y'all, if you can. Okay. The chupa symbolizes the new home to which the bridegroom will take his bride, the church. In this context, the appearance of the bride and groom, Jesus, together under a chupa before an assembly who have come to witness the event is in itself a public proclamation by them that they are now bonded together as man and wife. This is a prelude to intimacy and thus a significant element in marriage. The cloth chupa was originally draped around the bride and groom, but was later spread out over their heads. In some places, a talit prayer shawl was draped over the couple or held above them. Alright, so in short, for the sake of time, I'm going to wrap everything up. Um, yesterday, with the um, with what happened with the, the um, prayer live stream, I um, ended up seeing the number 93. And then I had this dream, and it's telling me 93 degrees in the dream. And I thought that was significant. And the fact that I was born in 1993, just a lot of um, reoccurring numbers with 93 that I didn't notice before. And how the number 93 ties in with the completion of being offsprings to um, being sons of glory, sons of God, and how... Um, my other dream about read Psalm nineteen nineteen also tied into this and into marriage and wedding. During the time that I read um, Psalm nineteen, uh, and you know the Book of Psalms is the nineteenth book in the Bible and um, the nineteenth chapter of the Book of Psalms is what I read, and. Um, so Psalm 19, verse 5, when it spoke of the bridegroom coming forth from his chamber, I was just thinking, um, you know, wow, marriage. You know, I wasn't thinking too deep about it, but chamber in the Hebrew means chupa. And um, chupa also means covering or defense. Um, as you saw earlier in the Bible wheel, the number 93 um, equals the word defense in the Hebrew. So um, that was significant right there because it gave me a better understanding that, you know, the couple is under the chupa and then once they're married, they come forth out of the chupa. And, um, yeah, <clears throat> and for the sake of time, too, it also said that the four openings of the chupa represent um, Abraham's tent. They had four, supposedly they have four entrances in four of the walls of the tent so that no matter what side a stranger was traveling in from, they can go out and meet that stranger and the stranger won't have to struggle trying to find an entryway. Um, and we've known Abraham to entertain strangers and um, that symbolizes, they said that that symbolizes for um, love. And we also know 93 also means love or agape. Um, and they also have the canopy out in the open or the chupa out in the open. You know, outside, um, to which signified that they are under um, God's protection. So, um, traditionally, they did marriages outside. So, those were um, a few other side notes about that. So, I hope I said everything. If not, just look down in the comment below, and I will pin more information if I did miss something. Um, yeah, so my final words is, <laughs> you know, he's coming soon. In a blink, I don't know, it's just so amazing because of how quick and how suddenly we would just appear in eternity and we'll be right before Jesus. 
God bless. I also wanted to add the numbers 9 and 3. Um, I did an, a dream on a video of um, judgment. And that, that video is called Just Sharing. And in that dream, I was waiting to get a certificate. I was the third person in the line. And then the lady said basically that I passed the qualifications to get the certificate. And I had to wait for... Um, in nine hours to get my certificate from so-and-so. Um, so that is significant too. So God is really speaking, you all. He speaks to us person personally and um, collectively. So continue to be sensitive and open to how he's trying to get your attention and what he's trying to say to you. All right, God bless.